Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing this eye look which is a recreation of the James Charles Artistry Palette box and it's been great fun to do it. It's been a bit of a challenge but I love a challenge. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how I've done it then carry on watching and let's stop hanging around and just get on with it. Okay, so we're ready to start this look on the left eye. I've started by priming my eye with the P. Louise base in the shade Rumour 02. Um, the palette is massive, as most of you will probably know, so I'm not going to hold it up every time I change colours, but I will pop a picture of it um, in probably the bottom left corner so that you can see what shades that I'm using um, and what colours they are. So we're going to start off with a M433 brush and we're going to use the shade Escape which is the dark purple and let me just I don't know if you can see that the um, P. Louise base has creased on my eye so I'm just going to pat that out with a this is a best best OP brush it's from a set that I got from Amazon a while ago it's doing pretty good so just patting out that crease that had appeared and right so we're going to stamp on the shade escape on the outer V try and recreate the shape that's on the other eye how's that looking James Charles did do a video on this look when the palette first came out so I'm trying to recreate his look as well as use the same brushes that he used but um, I don't have as many as he has unfortunately of each one so I've had to sort of make it up as, as I go along in some places. Um, so now we're going to use the shade Single on a Morphe M456 just to diffuse out that purple that we've put down. Does anyone else really raise their eyebrows when they're doing their eyeshadow? It just seems to give me more space to work I guess, it's probably because I've got hooded eyelids. Right, we're going to leave that there for now, I know it looks a little bit wacky but we are going to come back to it. So we're going to use the shade B which is the bright yellow and we're going to use it on this Morphe M451, and, sorry, M441. And it's going to go just here. This is probably one of the most pigmented yellows in my collection, I think. It is great. And this has, this sort of works as your nose contour. So I'm just being really rough with it at the moment because it does have to cover quite a big area. I, I will keep going back and touching it up as we go along, as we add the orange and the red in. So then we're going to use a Morphe M503 brush, which is another fluffy brush, and we're going to use the shade You're Kidding, which is the bright red in the pan. And this is going to go just here, and then we'll put an orange between the red and the yellow and a pink between the red and the purple. Okay, so now we're going to use the shade 518. I'm going to use it on the same brush because um, it's that bright orange that's going to go between the yellow and red, so it doesn't really matter too much if it's got a bit of red on it. Now, James Charles didn't actually put that much orange on in his video, um, he just had sort of his orange sort of stopped where my orange has stopped but I think to make my yellow stand out a little bit more I've, I'm going to carry my orange through just a little bit more here and then we'll blend it out again as you can see I've done it on that side as well I'm going to go back in with your kidding 
just wiped off the excess because I'm going to try and blend that out up there a bit more. And now I'm going to go back in again with my Morphe 4 for 1 with the shade B on it. And just generally whack it in there. Now I'm going to go in with my Jessup 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush and I'm going to use the shade Skip which is the super bright pink in the palette and I'm going to pop it between the red and the purple and I'm going to throw it out here as well to give me that sort of winged look past my eyebrow. Now you'll see that the red shade gets a bit lost once that pink is down. So I will go back and re-intensify that. One thing I will say that I found is it's not easy to get that purple to blend into the pink for some reason. I thought it would be much easier. I guess it's because it's so dark. I will try putting the, the lighter purple shade in between as well. That's what I ended up having to do on the other side. So we're going back in with the shade You're Kidding on the M503. Make that red pop a bit more. Looking at the other side, it does look like it could do with a bit more red there as well. So we'll just pop some there while we're here. 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. Um, I know it's meant for your crease, but I'm just gonna, it's got nothing on it. Just going to sort of diffuse those colours at the top. I don't know if it picks up on camera, but that is blended out a lot better than it was before. It's not so harsh against my skin. There is a shade in here called Tune that I could use probably to, to blend it out against my skin. But we'll see what it looks like once I've got the rest of my base on and if it needs it. So now I'm going to use my Morphe M456 brush to um, pop some of the shade Single just here, which is the lighter purple shade. I'm also going to put that through my crease, just underneath the other colours that are there. I'm going to make that outer crease a bit deeper with the shade Escape on my M433. Just going to stamp it on there. I'm going to use a little bit more Skip, the pink shade up here, to get it all to blend in nicely. And then a bit more single. I really am trying not to raise my eyebrows as much, but it's such a bad habit because it gives me the wrinkles. But hey, I'm pregnant, I can't have Botox, so. Plus, I think my husband would go mad. Right, so we're going to use a M Morphe M506. And we're going to use the shade Spooky, which is the big black shade in the palette. And try not to use too much of it right on this outer corner. Sorry, I have to raise my eyebrows. And then we will use Escape again on the M433 to blend out that black a bit. I do love black in this palette. Just works. I don't want to say differently, but it works better on the eye than I found a lot of other blacks do. A lot of other blacks you can just get carried away and or they won't blend very easily. But this black is lovely. 
so good job Morphe and James Charles. Um, right, so now we're going to cut the crease with, I'm going to use Revolution Cut Crease Canvas on a, I'm going to do a big cut crease and it's going to be a diffused one so for that reason I'm going to use my Morphe M166. The cut crease has to be white so that's why I've chosen to use this cut crease because it's in the shade Halo. Normally I would cut my crease with a P. Louise base, but we need white for this. And we're going to go all the way in. There. And I'm just patting because we want to keep it as white as possible. So rather than dragging, I'm trying to pat the product down. That way it doesn't pick up any of the eyeshadow that's underneath it. So we're going to go really big here. Oh, I say really big, it might not be big to anyone else, it's big for me. <laughs> I'm not worried too much about the edge being super clean and super neat because we are going to diffuse that edge in a minute. So I'm just going to pop some more here. Okay, that's fine. So now I'm just gonna, well I've got some on the back of my hand already, I'm gonna pop some more on the back of my hand so that it can, almost want it to dry down a little bit so that we can blend it out and diffuse it. So I'm gonna use my M431 brush to diffuse those edges and might just give it a second to dry. So, I'm going to pat the edges, give them a bit of a diffused look. I'm just going to wipe off any excess that was on that brush and go in and around and pat again. And it diffuses it even more. Okay. So, just to make that a bit more bright white, I'm going to use the M166 again, the brush that I used to cut the crease, and pat the halo cut crease canvas around. Now we're going to use the Morphe M224 brush with the white shade in the pan called Flashback and it's just a complete white eyeshadow and we're just going to cover the cut crease with it it's almost like using it as a setting powder to set the cut crease and keep it as white as possible because it is all going to get covered up okay so I'm just going to clean this um, cut crease canvas off my hands before it goes everywhere and I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, so I've got clean hands now. So I'm going to use the same fluffy brushes that I used before with the various colours on them just to um, blend it into that cut crease better to be, to be honest with you. I'm just going to, I'm going to get a tiny bit of eyeshadow, hardly any on there because I don't want too much. I just want the edge to be nice and blended. So I'm using the shade B again, bright yellow, just there, just to cover up the edge of the cut crease. And then we will use the Morphe M503 with the shade 518 and tap off the excess. I literally just want the tiniest bit because you don't want it to rub off that cut crease either. Now I'm going to use the same brush and the shade you're kidding up here. Again, just a tiny bit. I don't mind so much here because it's going to be where the blue is. It's where the yellow and the white is that needs to be blended nicely. 
because up here the blue will blend with the red. And then I'm going to use my Jessup 231 brush with the shade Skip on it over here for the purple. So I'm going to stamp a bit of the purple shade Escape on the very edge of the cut crease. This will just help those blue shadows to blend in a bit better. I'm not sure if you can see, but here, just here, the cut crease canvas has gone a bit creasy again, just like the Peter Reese base did. So I'm just a bit more on. And then, that's just using what was left on the brush. And then that white eyeshadow again, flashback. And then what we'll do is we'll go and try and put the other shades on as quickly as possible so that it doesn't crease again. Okay, so now we're going to use the shade Acapella, which is the shimmer blue shade in the palette. And we're going to use it on this Morphe M124 brush. So I'm just going to load up my brush and I'm going to use it wet with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. We're going to pop it right here, right on the last portion of the cut crease. But it doesn't need to touch the purple because we are going to put a different shade between the purple and the blue. Okay, now on a different brush we are going to use the M321 brush and we're going to use the shade Cola, which is a deep blue and it's going to go between acapella and this bit. I'm going to pop some more acapella on here to blend it in a bit better, but this is not wet. the same brush that Cola was on, just giving it a little wiggle. Right. Now you can see this super harsh line between the red and the blue and I'm going to use I'm going to use the Morphe M503 with a bit of your kidding on it. In fact I'm going to use the Morphe M456 with the shade Single, which is the pale purple. And I might even pop some of Skip in there on my Jessup 231. Okay. And then we'll go back in with your kidding. Just seems to be getting lost so easily that red shade. And then I'll pop a bit more of cola here. And actually I'm going to use a bit of escape, the deep purple, just here as well, to help it all blend together. wipe the brush so there's nothing on it just letting it blend those colors and the brush that acapella was on just going over here so this doesn't seem to be blending as nicely as I want it to so I'm going to use the M321 again and I'm going to use the shade You're Kidding to try and blend into the purples. I'm going to use that Jessup 221 again, nothing on it, to 
diffuse that red away, I've got a bit too bright on the edge. And the next shimmer is going to be the shade Hello, and we're going to use that wet as well. So same again, loading up my brush, making it nice and wet, and I'm just going to swipe down here. So wiping off the excess and then just running that above there so it blends a bit better into the other colours. And then I'm going to pop a bit more acapella on just here. But now I'm going to use my Barry M Glitter Fix Gel and we're going to use the Sample Beauty pigment called A Year. This is something that Make Me Up Missa has recommended me and she's a great YouTuber if you haven't seen her already go and find her. Another great YouTuber that you should watch is Alice. She may not have set her YouTube channel up yet but when we first got into makeup and she first bought this James Charles palette she actually did this eye look as well um, so she's one of my inspirations and we're working on getting her a YouTube channel so Alice if you're watching hurry up and get a YouTube channel so that we can do something together. Um, we have a lot of fun. We used to work together she's also a veterinary nurse um, and we have a lot in common and she's got a lovely little girl who's my goddaughter, Isla. Right, so we're going to use this glitter fix gel. I'm going to put a tiny bit on the back of my hand. Because I'm only doing this first third of my cut crease, I hardly need any. And I'm going to use it on the Morphe M508. I'm just patting it on, trying not to smudge the product that's underneath it. So now I'm going to use my Jeffree Star Morphe brush, JS10, and to pick up some of that Sample Beauty pigment, which will probably go everywhere. But that's okay, because it's beautiful. I'm just patting that on, and it's sticking itself to the glitter glue. There we go. So I'm going to use that Morphe M124 brush again that we used for the Shimmer Hello. I'll just pop a bit here. So we've got a lot of fallout under this eye and a lot of fallout under this eye, which is why I only put foundation on and I didn't do the rest of my base. So it means that I can clean it up a bit better. So I'm going to do that now, I will put the rest of my base on and then we will come back and we will do the under eye together. So I will see you in a couple of seconds. I'm back, base is on and we're ready to do the under eye. I've also popped a bit of white eyeliner in my lower lash line just to make it a little bit brighter. So we're going to start off by using the light purple shade single on a Morphe M456. And we're going to pop it down here. This brush is a bit big, but that's okay because we're going for a big blown out look. All the details of the products that I've used on my face will be down in the description. Dragging this right up to that outer corner so that it blends in nicely. I'm going to try looking straight ahead. Okay, I'm going to pop a tiny bit of Escape, the dark purple shade. I'm just going to stamp it there and do the same on the other eye. Now I'm going to use my Morphe M149 brush and I'm going to use the shade Brother. Which is this blue. I'm 
Now I'm going to use my Jessup 237 detail shader with the shade Social Blade, which is this lime green sort of colour. I'm not going too far in because we're going to use the white concealer there in a minute. Ooh. There we go. So I'm just going to use a fluffier brush to blend out those bottom edges so they're not so harsh. And I'm going to use that uh, Jessup 237 again to pop a bit of the shade Single just to re-intensify it a little bit. And then back in with the shade Brother again. Does anyone else pull a really ugly face when you're doing your under eyes or when you're doing mascara? It's horrible. And then a little bit more of Social Blade. Okay. So now we're going to use the cut crease canvas again in the shade Halo and we're going to use this Lamora small shader brush and we're going to pop that sort of coming just around here. I don't know if I showed you that very well but so I'm going to pop some on my hand. And that's going right across to where the white is in my waterline. So I'm just going to wait for that to dry for a couple of seconds. And now I'm going to pop another layer on just to make it a bit more white. So next we're going to use this tiny Morphe M250-0 brush and we're going to use the shade Daddy under that white. A little bit of fallout. So I'm going to use this Jessup 221 dust it away. This side's got a bit messy so I'm just trying to neaten it up. That's not going to work so I need some more cut crease canvas. Just a smidge. So I'm going to use that same tiny brush again and I'm going to put a little bit more green very carefully. So this green needs to run all the way along my lash line to get it right up to my lashes. the green segment anyway <laughs> and then what we'll do is we'll do the same with the purple the deep purple and then we'll do the same with the blue brother and that just takes that look right up to your lashes I really like actually. Do the same again, purple on this side. I 
gonna pop a bit more cut crease canvas because it's looking a bit messy. Plus we want it to be really bright white. Now we're going to use the Barry M Glitter Glue again, pop a little bit on my hand and going to use the same brush that we did as last time, that's the Morphe M508, it's gone a bit hard. And we're going to pop that over the white that's already there, very very gently because we don't want it to rub off. Same on the other eye. And then, this time we're going to use a Lamora small shader again. Um, the Jeffree Star brush that we used for the pigment last time would have been too big. So, sample beauty pigment called A Year. There we go. Can you see? Can never have too much glitter. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean out the fallout of this glitter and then I'm going to pop a lip and some lashes on and then I'll be right back and give you my final thoughts. So I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Okay, there we have it. So we've got the final look done. Um, I have a Jeffree Star lip on. I have the Isla number 070 lashes on. Um, yeah, that's the final look. I'm happy with it. It took a long, long time, but I think it came out all right. And I really like how, it's, how everything's come together. Um, let's do a quick comparison. There's James Charles. That's me. How do we look? What do you think? Obviously James Charles has a different eye shape to me and he has a load of white paint all over his face. I'm not going to do that because I do actually have to go out today. But this is how I look. I'm quite happy with it. I hope you liked it. If you would like to subscribe to my channel then that would be great and if you want to drop me a like that would be really nice too. Um, and if you want to stay in touch then you can follow me on Instagram and yeah I'd love to hear from you guys and see any recreations of any looks that you've done. If you've tried this James Charles look then let me know, send me pictures, things like that would be great. Anyway, I will see you on the next one. Thanks for being here. Bye!